Okay, uh, good morning. And uh, welcome to the Microtech user meeting uh, in Poland. Uh, this is our mom number 32 already. There's uh, small banners from all previous Microtech user meetings that we have had. And it's really a lot. Uh, this is our plan for these two days. And yesterday we had a great uh, relaxing night with some beer. Uh, today we start with um, exhibition hall. It's all around this area. Uh, there are several corridors full of interesting things to see. Uh, now we have an uh, opening where I will tell you about uh, some new products and uh, about other things. Then uh, my colleague Sergeis will be presenting uh, some new, t new software features and he'll be talking about how simple it is to set up those nice routers that you received uh, when you checked in. And uh, after, after this workshop uh, there will be lunch and uh, you can see the rest of the presentations outside of this hall there's a whiteboard with the presentation names, titles and uh, if you're interested just come at approximately that time if not you can uh, go and check out all, all our distributors and uh, see their stands they have antennas for your new grooves that you received in your bags um, yeah, by the way, you, you've got two routers and uh, you might think that it's a nice pair to uh, use together, but do you know that they're not uh, interconnectable? Actually, one of them is 2 gigahertz and one of them is 5 gigahertz. Why? So you can purchase the other one. <laughs> or, if you're smart, you find some, somebody who, who doesn't want the one an exchange. So, if you want two proofs, find somebody who wants two 750s. So, that's an idea for you. Um, at this month, we have a big number of uh, companies presenting uh, their products. Um, the projector is not that good, so you can't read anything anyway, so it doesn't matter. You can just walk around. Uh, many interesting things. Already, I have seen many antennas, some guys with small towers big towers. Also, some of these uh, exhibitors have nice girls, so go, go and check them out. Um, about Microtik. Uh, so we have uh, 80 people working at Microtik. Uh, Microtik was established in 1996, uh, which makes this uh, our 16th uh, year. So Microtik is uh, quite experienced uh, in the field of networking. Uh, we made our own router operating system in 1997 when we all uh, worked with ISPs we found that we need some better software so we made it ourselves and in 2002 we decided that PCs are too big and we started to make our own router board which only did the things that a router should be doing and uh, in 2006, we had so many fans around the world that we uh, decided to make our first user meeting. And it took place in Prague, in Czech Republic. And we had uh, 150 people, if I remember correctly. But the biggest Microtech user meeting of all time, if it's not this one, I don't know yet, we don't have the final numbers, uh, happened uh, last year in Indonesia. And it was very big was very, you have to go to see our website, there's pictures and videos, it was just awesome. There was a crane with a camera, everything, very big event. Uh, what is Latvia? For those of you who come from uh, nearby countries, you've probably heard of Latvia. It's uh, somewhere in the Baltics there, not far from Poland, actually you can drive in like seven hours from here. But uh, yeah, Latvia is small, but uh, we have many smart people. That's why we have Microtik. <laughs> um, some of our some of our staff is here at the month. Um, 
Uh, our CEO John couldn't come, uh, but Arnis is here. Uh, here's Arnis. Uh, Arnis is uh, our chief technical uh, officer, and uh, there's Janis from sales. If you want to buy something, he's there in the back. Uh, he's waving. Janis' uh, colleague Edmunds is here in the front. He's uh, also selling some stuff. Uh, then there's me. I'm from support. And uh, you can ask me some basic technical questions. My colleague Sergey is from support. They're uh, outside at the registration table. He is uh, doing uh, registrations. There he is. And uh, you can also ask him technical questions. Uh, our wireless specialist, Uldis, he is uh, somewhere um, doing registrations. Yeah, also. So if you have a complicated wireless setup and you don't know what to do, you have to go and find Uldis. Uh, Janis Medis is the guy in the red shirt there. He's also waving now. Um, Janis Medis uh, was your trainer for some of you who attended our training classes. He's also uh, our support guy, so you can also ask him complicated technical questions. And then there's Maris, who was also trainer for some people, and he's doing registrations. He's a small guy, so if you if you have, there he is. If you have very complicated BGP questions, go find Maris. Okay, let's start with some products. Uh, this is our group. Uh, you got uh, groups in your bags, but those are 5 gigahertz groups. In case you want to make a good old 2 gigahertz link, you need the group 2HN. Uh, this is a new product. We, we had the only 5 gigahertz version of this for quite some time. But um, people requested the 2 gigahertz, so we made 2 gigahertz. And while we were doing that, we also increased output power. So this groove is uh, 500 milliwatts. So you can make uh, very, very long links with this because uh, it's, it's easy to set up. It's all small package. Just attach uh, a big, uh, big antenna and make your link. It's very simple. And with our new quick set feature, it's even simpler. By the way, uh, quick set something that we made uh, just recently. Uh, it is a software interface for quickly configuring wireless routers. So when you when you get, uh, get your uh, Groove or 751 from your bag, just plug in the cable, make sure you have DHCP in your laptops, and when you open the address of the router, it will automatically show you some very simple things that you can uh, set up for this router. So no more command line and no more learning a lot of stuff. Uh, the basics are easily configurable with quick set. And uh, if you're interested about this feature, you should come or just stay here after this presentation because Sergey will be talking about uh, our new WebPick, uh, WebPick uh, browser interface and more specifically also about the quick set and why is quick set so great. So the 2011 L, this product was all, uh, already promised to you last year, but now it's finally hit the stores, as they say. Um, you can already get these uh, at our distributors. This is a very low cost uh, Ethernet device. It has 10 ports. Uh, five of them are 100 megabits, and uh, the other five are gigabit ports. So you can uh, plug like a local network printer into the slow ones and your PC into the fast ones. Uh, the, there will be different case options, or R. Uh, you can buy this without the case in case you want to build your own uh, special case solution. There is one with such a nice uh, red and black indoor case. And then we plan to make an Iraq mount case also. And 
for the indoor case, we uh, offer a wall mount that protects ports. It's like a bracket. You screw it on, and nobody can unplug your wires, which is very cool if you want to put these devices in public locations or shared attic or some place where other people could uh, accidentally unplug something. So there's a there's an attachment like that available also. And then there's the 2011 US. Uh, this is a more advanced model. The L uh, only has Ethernet ports. And the SFP model will be available in one or two weeks. But this one has wireless also. It's available with indoor antennas. It will have USB. It will have SFP, and there's a serial port on the back. Of course, the, as usual, we offer, offer, offer different kinds of models, so if you don't need some ports, the, there will be a lower model available. If you need all ports, there will be this model available. And, uh, of course, also different cases available, and these full uh, full-scale models with all options will be available end of March. That's uh, two weeks from now. So after two weeks, start calling your distributors and ask them, where's the 2011? And uh, 2000 series will be very low-cost devices. Even though they have SFP ports, which support all kinds of SFP, active SFP mod modules, even though they have those ports and all these interesting options and have those nice metal cases, still, these devices will be very low cost. And we're talking uh, below $100, so really, really good prices. Um, here's an overview of all the different models that we will have for this uh, new series. And, uh, well, I'm not gonna read all of this now, but just to show you the idea that uh, there's the L series. L is a uh, lower cost, simple models. And then there's the US series. Those are more advanced uh, build of features. And uh, you, you can see the difference. This is enclosure, SFP, serial port, USB wireless. And then desktop case, SFP port for this one. If you want everything, you get this one. So just choose based on the features you're interested in. And uh, yeah, about that serial port, uh, first time we have switched uh, to a Cisco style Ethernet, uh, I mean Cisco style uh, serial port. This looks like, it's an RG45, looks like an Ethernet. So if you have other networking devices, then it will be simpler for you to use the same cables. And um, they're also smaller, so more convenient. Okay, what else we have? We have a new product, a 48 volt to 24 volt PoE converter. And why is this so good? Um, in case, in the place where you have your routers, there's probably all kinds of powering options. And uh, with this device, you can convert any kind of standard power to router board compatible, compatible power. So, we have 802.3AF, 802.3AT, telecom, all kinds of uh, 48 volt power sources. Just plug it in into one side and you have 24 volts out the other side. So if you have switches with PoE, any kind of device that provides some kind of 48 volt PoE, just plug it in here and plug your router boards in there. Very simple to use. And uh, this is heavy duty, it's all solid metal. It, uh, it has high quality, high quality parts, has shielded connectors, you can uh, attach it to a wall, and uh, the case also acts as a new heat sink, so this is a normal industrial quality product. So, for all your towers and uh, installations, you can consider this as a power converter. Then there's the 400 L series. Um, we already have 400 series router ports, 
and they have mini PCI slots. That's what makes them different from, say, the 700s, uh, which have wireless built in. So in case you want to use your own wireless card, you need the 400 series, because it has a mini PCI slot. Now we introduced additional models, the L series, which is much cheaper, simpler, doesn't have any serial port, uh, any parts that you don't need, just the basics, Ethernet, mini PCI. There's all kinds of uh, products. Uh, basically, everything that was available as port, uh, 400 series will also be available in the L light model. But don't worry, uh, we're not replacing anything. This is additional products. So if you still want that 493G with the gigabit and the mini PCI and all those features and serial port, USB, all features, it's still available. We're not, uh, we're not planning to discontinue anything, so we're just adding new models to the 400 series. Uh, and you can now choose from a wide variety of models, starting from very low cost, $39 model, up to the best that we have. So it's just about bigger choice. And they're very, very affordable. So now you can also get a cheaper router. Now, on to more exciting things. The RB Metal. This is something new. You have not seen this before. This is a all solid metal construction, completely waterproof, uh, isolated from every side. It has uh, rubber going everywhere. It is completely uh, solid metallic device, so no interference. <laughs> indestructible or something. <laughs> uh, it has 1.3 watt output power, so this is a very high output, very serious uh, industrial design device. So for your most important long range link, link <coughs> this is the thing to get. Of course, uh, completely sealed, access point license, waterproof, uh, metal case and available in April. Uh, we have one here uh, after I end my presentation. Uh, during the break, you can go outside, there will be one you can uh, look at it. And uh, I think this is very exciting. It looks great, it feels great, and it's uh, very durable. So, uh, industrial standard device. Uh, we will also have other models, but this is the first one that I can announce. <coughs> yes, we're working on certification, but uh, I don't think, I, I can't answer right now. So, A6PG, uh, gigabit. You all, <coughs> most of you know what is an X SXD. Uh, it is a small device. Uh, wireless and antenna built in. So if you need to make a quick point-to-point -point link or uh, some connect some houses to a central access point, you just get an SXT, plug it in, and it works. Especially with that new quick set feature, where your technician doesn't have to uh, learn router OS. He just plugs it in, opens the browser, and selects uh, to use password and choose the frequency. That's all. And um, now, before we had the SXT with the 100 megabit port, now we have it with the gigabit port, so you can enjoy the full benefits of the 8 of 211N speeds. So previously you were limited by the port, now you're not limited. So you can get uh, more than 100 full duplex speeds. And it's already available, so you can start uh, going out there and bugging all those uh, distributors. Um, now, this is something very exciting. Um, this is um, very big news. Uh, we have kept it very secret. Nobody knows about this. And uh, this is our new product line. And th this is not only something very important for, for us, it is something very important for the whole networking industry. This is something you have not seen anywhere before. This is very exciting. Uh, it's our new series. It is our high-speed cloud core router. 
Um, as many ports, looks just beautiful. It has uh, SFPs, gigabits, touchscreen LCD for viewing graphs, uh, status, what's happening. And um, it looks good, but how powerful is it? 36 core network of CPU. Uh, 1.2 gigahertz per core. Now, uh, we have seen and tested many devices that cost $20,000, and this is faster. Uh, up to 16 gigabit throughput because uh, each gigabit port, full duplex, is connected, uh, con connected directly to the CPU. Uh, so, total 16 ports, 16 gigabit both ways. So, you get all wire speed. There's no slowdown on the CPU. So, it just, you put anything in there and it will forward at the same speed. So, it's just amazingly fast. Um, 15 million packets per second is possible with this device. You will not say, see many devices that can do 15 million packets per second. So, and um, of course this will be our uh, top of the line model. The CPU is something you have never seen. It's just amazing. So, if you need something that runs country, you need this device. Do you have any questions about all these new products? <laughs> Soon, uh, this summer. <laughs> we plan to bring these to the market uh, summer this summer. Of course, much cheaper than anything out there, though. <laughs> My colleagues will start spreading some brochures uh, in a moment. Uh, most of these products are in there. And you can read those uh, specifications. So in case you have uh, any specification questions, they are answered in those uh, brochures. Uh, do you have any other questions? Uh, architecture? Uh, PPC. Yes, but I, I can't be sure completely. But uh, yeah, there, there's a plan to make redundant power supplies. <coughs> More questions, uh, Sergei, so bring a mic. Mm -hmm. So you raise your hand if you have a question in the back, maybe. <coughs> no? So, okay. Um, Thank you for watching. I will be outside and Sergei will be outside. So after, uh, during the break, if you have a question you want to ask, uh, we'll be available. Right now, we will continue with uh, Sergei's presentation about QuickSet and about WebFeed and about uh, how simple it is to configure routers these days. And uh, if you have any questions, you can ask him also during the workshop. That will be a, not a presentation, it will be a longer workshop, like a small training. And uh, if you're not interested, you can walk outside. Exhibitors are still available. Those of you who have uh, small lunch vouchers, so lunch is uh, available there in the hotel through that corridor. And thank you very much for.